So guys, this is a continuation to the drama that's unfolding between my baby daddy, girlfriend, and myself. Okay, if you didn't watch part one, I would just run over it real quick for you. So my baby daddy decided it was a good idea for him and his girl to move into my house so we all can become roommates. He can save money and run his business. I can save money and run my business. It's going to be good for me and our children and this and that. And she agreed to move in. One thing led to another. She was at work. I was upstairs taking a shower. He came upstairs. <laughs> I was naked and ready, and we did something we weren't supposed to do. But in the middle of that, she walked in out of nowhere. She It wasn't even time for her to get off work, so I don't even know what was, what she was doing home. She had no business being home. I should have called her job and put her into trouble because she probably made some kind of lame excuse to come snooping around. Walked into my bedroom. She, I should have locked the door. I should have locked the door because when she walked in, we had, we just had got done with two rounds. We were on the third round and we didn't get that done. We didn't get done. They ain't going to jump on me to fight, but I was too tired to fight. All right. I was too tired because the last, the last nut didn't come out of me, uh, out of him, but I was too tired. So I said, grab your girl and get her out of my room. I can't fight her. I ain't trying to get no scratches. I ain't trying to have her ruin my face or get my, get, give me broken nose or black eye. Please take your girl downstairs. So he took his girl downstairs and whatnot. So after all that, she told him, nigga, we got to leave. And I'm like, who you calling, nigga? You cannot call my baby, my, my, my children's father, nigga. That's disrespectful. That's probably the reason why he can't even think twice about coming back to me. She tried to chase me upstairs. He grabbed her again. I said, please, y'all need to get out of here, but stop calling him nigga. He's not a nigga. And she was like, be shut the if uh." I was like, okay, whatever. She said, we're leaving, we're leaving. And, of course, he had to follow her because he in the wrong now. So what they did was they went and got a hotel, all right? They got a hotel. After a few days, she going to call me talking about, you had this plan. I was like, uh, me? I had this plan? No, this had nothing to do with me. I was sitting in my house. My baby daddy, who is now your boyfriend, decided that it's a good idea for you and him to move in. And you agreed to move in. And you're moving. And one thing led to another. You're stupid behind. You should never work opposite shift with him y'all should have been on the same morning shift or same night shift but no y'all were opposite shift and because he was free sitting here not doing nothing he came he came and jumped on me sure i could i could file a rape case against him but i won't because i enjoy it or whatsoever and she was like you could have you knew he had a girl because both of us live in the house i was like okay <laughs> But it was like an old firewood that got lit again. It wasn't hard. It was a, it was an old fling. Like, look, you can't blame me. And she, she going off on me. I said, look, man, you had no business trespassing my bedroom. She was like, B, trespassing, trespassing. We all live in the same house. I said, mm, yes, we do. But you live downstairs, so you had no business coming up to my bedroom. Well, when I came in. My man was not downstairs, and his car was in front of the house. I was like, you could have talked to yourself really quick that he went for a walk. Man, he's lazy behind. Don't go for a walk. I said, stop calling my baby my, my baby daddy lazy. He's not lazy. Like I said, he didn't go for a walk. That's the, he was upstairs, and I heard some noise. That's why I came to your bedroom. I said, it could have been another person. She said, well, it wasn't. It was my man that you were screwing. I said, no. He did the screwing. I didn't, I don't, I, I, I wasn't the one who did the screwing. I mean, like, I got the hole. He got the screw. So he was the one drilling. I wasn't the one drilling. He was the one. So you can't say I was the one screwing. He was the one screwing because he the one who got the drill. She was like, you sound stupid as F. You sound stupid as F. I said, um, I just like to break things down before, because I don't, I don't appreciate you 
blaming me for this and then calling me talking about I had this plan. And y'all did I, I had no clue this was ever he was ever gonna ask me to do such thing. So my advice for you is you and him need to work the same shift. You damn right we gonna work the same shift. I said, like, damn. They didn't take a scientist to figure that out. You agreed to move in my house with my baby daddy, who was your man, and then y'all going to work opposite shift. <laughs> I mean, you got to be dumb to do something like that and then work opposite shift. You, <laughs> really? Now, you, you, you got us. You got us in the hotel. We spending all this money. You need to reimburse us. I'm like, hotel? That's where y'all at? Well, <laughs> reimburse? That ain't none of my business. That ain't none of my business. If y'all don't want to spend hotel money, y'all get back in the air. Y'all fix your working hours so y'all be out of here at the same time, in here at the same time, always in here at the same time, so that none of this will happen. Oh, I bet you it won't happen again. It won't happen again. I said I wasn't wishing for it to happen. I never wanted it to happen. Your boyfriend came upstairs while I was taking the shower trespassing my room I was naked when I saw his thing thing standing up staring at me my thing thing got really active and started spitting everywhere and started sh shooting lubricant out of my body I'm like oh shoot <laughs> and then one thing led to another you can't blame me you can't blame me and when you come back to this house you better act like nothing happened because you can't blame me for this and she go click Hung up the phone. Like, you can't blame me for that. And then she gonna call me, talk about reimbursing me because they're going to a hotel. <laughs> I'm mad he even did the hotel with you, giving you more. And I only had two rounds. I was about to get the third round going. And you came trash trespassing my bedroom or whatsoever. But a pregnancy might come out of this because I was actually fertile. And if I end up pregnant, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Because after all that, she still want to stay here. <laughs> I think I'm going to be pregnant.